Hello everyone! You'll have the same outburst of emotions when you see today's selection. By the way, this video shows the operation of the system that reduces extreme heat and energy generated by a rocket launch. Watch the video to the end to learn even more new stuff. If you have any bad memories about public toilets, just imagine what this poor man feels right now. Well, it was his decision to participate in this madness. This is the Flat Out Friday Race held in the USA. The track is coated with Dr. Pepper syrup. Participants dress up in ridiculous costumes, and almost any two-wheeled vehicle can participate in the race. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you probably remember this shark fact. Baby sharks are born already prepared for life. However, here's another discovery. About 30% of sharks lay eggs, and each species has a unique egg shape. And some of them look quite scary. Do you know where the best phone parties are? In the aircraft hangars, in order to save expensive airplanes and helicopters in case of fire, special fire extinguishing systems are installed in such hangars. In a couple of minutes, they release thousands of gallons of thick foam with a special composition. By the way, if you think that diving into this pool is a great thing to do, believe us, it's not. An alarm warns people that they need to leave the area ASAP, otherwise you simply won't get out from under this thick layer of foam. Just when we think that no art technique can surprise us anymore, another genius appears. Check out how this girl creates portraits by mixing sand in a certain order. I always knew working at NASA is a lot of fun. This is how the agency is running water landing tests of the Orion capsule, with the help of special dummies and a bunch of sensors. This will help the engineers understand whether the crew will be safe when landing in the ocean. Well, it looks quite reliable from the outside. The French street artist J.R. decided, since people can't get inside the museum because of the lockdown, let them at least admire the paintings through the crack, or La Ferita, as this installation is called in Italian. You can see it on the facade of Palazzo Strozzi in Florence. You have to admit, both the idea and the implementation are 10 out of 10. Holograms and VR are, of course, cool, but check out the lenticular animated cards made at the very beginning of the 20th century. Even now they seem exciting. Can you imagine how impressive it looked to the people of that time? No, this is not another NASA test. Such serious equipment is needed to film a spectacular commercial for a protein bar. or make you want to buy Pepsi. <laughs> this miracle was presented at an exhibition in France, a music player converted into a toy railroad. By the way, this is not as easy as it seems. They had to use the Raspberry Mini computer, write code in Python, and use tracking technology. Put on your darker glasses and get a cold drink, because we are going to Japan to test a rocket engine with a thrust force of 12 kilonewtons.
And now let's go check out the Chinese technology of the 22nd century, a tree transplanting machine. You just need to wrap the base of the trunk with a protective coating, and then the vehicle will pull the tree out from the ground along with the roots in a matter of seconds. You can't put a pot with such a cactus on your desktop. And if you do, then your great-grandchildren will still take care of it. These giants from Mexico live about 200 years, though they still aren't as big as this one from Paraguay. You'll have wood lice like that in your bathroom if you don't ventilate it properly. OK, actually, they can only get there with the help of the Spectral Motion Special Effects Studio. The team, led by Mike Elizaldi, created costumes and various monsters for Blade, Hellboy, Stranger Things, and for Pacific Rim. Check out the bugs they made for the movie by Guillermo del Toro. Nah, Pak Bianta itu kalau nebar bibit itu kecil-kecil ukur. Kan yang Enggak sore ya? Sore panen ini. Nanti sore panen. Wih. Pas. Saya wih. When there's nothing to do on the weekend, you can always make some liquid sand. This process is called fluidization. Gas or small droplets are pumped through the sand, and it starts to act like a liquid. Objects with a higher density sink, while those with a lower density remain on the surface. By the way, the popcorn machine works the same way. And now to an experiment that you can really do at home, and convince your younger sibling that you are a sorcerer. Magic has nothing to do with it, of course. This behavior of the bead chain is caused by the mold effect. When the first bead falls down from the glass, the angle between it and the next bead is reduced. The impulse is transmitted along the chain, and as a result, it doesn't flow down smoothly, but forms a sort of fountain. Time to complain about how much cooler entertainment for kids is these days. Check out this thing in the St. Louis Aquarium. You paint a fish on paper in any colors, put it under a special scanner, and in a moment, it starts swimming. Walking through a minefield is not a good idea, unless this device has been there before you. It shoots out a special sleeve with explosives inside, which triggers mines in a certain area. Here, check out how it works. This huge nut is the main trophy in the BattleBot show. But the robotic arm that rotates it is much more interesting. It was designed for the project by special effects specialist Mark Setrakian. Just check out this level of stabilization. Those who believe creativity is the most important thing in a gift will definitely like this handmade product. Because what could be more creative than a bath bomb shaped like a toaster or a hairdryer, titled Last Bath Bomb?
As you know, Japan is not the most seismically stable country, which means that most buildings, especially residential ones, need to be tested for earthquake resistance. And this is what it looks like. We need more design solutions like this. How'd you like a chandelier made of 5,000 gummy bears? Well, if you think that it wouldn't hang in your room for a long time, we'll have to disappoint you. The bears are not actually jelly, but plastic ones. But it looks gorgeous anyway. When someone said that infinity is impossible to conceive, Anthony James said, hold my rhombicosi dodecahedron. This is the name of his incredible sculpture in the Palm Spring Museum. We know that you want to check that out again. You think you're looking at an ordinary glass door, but in fact, you're looking at a trick from Panasonic. Meet Gina Dalloasio, who's fond of creating hyper-realistic sculptures, makeup and masks. Now you'll see it for yourself. We suspect that robots will soon learn to do literally everything for us. This one, for example, can perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Advances in technology are truly making life as easy as possible. Now you don't even need to pull a fishing rod. The floating bait will do everything for you. Even scanners no longer need human help. At least this one. It turns the pages as it scans them and can also recognize 137 languages, including Gothic characters. Do you think this is footage from the SEAL base? No, this is how flight attendants are trained. Even in a critical situation, they must remain calm and cold-minded. This is officially the largest paper airplane you've ever seen. Although slightly modernized compared to the usual ones. If you dream of sailing across the Mediterranean on a yacht, but aren't quite there yet, you can start with sand yachting. Any coast will do, and the yacht can develop a rather impressive speed. The record is 126 miles per hour.
To feel like a character in some 8-bit arcade, all you need to do is get to the Puga Valley in India. Take a look at the extraordinary landscape here, formed thanks to geothermal springs. You ask us to tell you about this watch, but you don't ask with respect. OK, let's get started. Opera Godfather Black was created by Jacob & Co in collaboration with Paramount Pictures. Inside the case made of rose gold and black titanium as a miniature of Don Corleone. But the main feature is these two cylinders with diamonds. In fact, this isn't even a watch, but rather a music box. When rotated, the cylinders play a tune that you recognize right away. Their only drawback is they cost more than Casio, about $390,000. And that's it for today, buddy. Let's make a fair deal. Like this video if you learned something new and amazing today. And see you soon.